Hi, Amanda. Hi, Josh. Nice shirt. <laughs> yeah, we're twins. But what are we talking about? <laughs> what are we going to talk about? You, you tell me. <laughs> All right. So we talk a lot about the FMLA. Um, and as folks who've watched our videos know by now, the FMLA is unpaid leave. It is job protected leave, but your employer doesn't have to pay you while you're on an FMLA leave. So that for a lot of people, that's a big problem. And the question then is, well, can I take FMLA leave and still get paid? And there are a few ways to do that. So tell, tell the folks about how they might get paid while they're taking FMLA leave. Yeah, there's a few weeks. To do, there's a few ways to do that. Excuse me. The first is CT paid leave, which is this wonderful resource that Connecticut employees have. It's really, really easy to do. If you open up a, a Google or any other type of search engine and just type in CT paid leave, it's going to bring you to their website. It'll walk you through exactly how you apply, what you need to do, what your employer needs to do. And that could provide you some with some compensation while you're out on FMLA leave. So really great resource. Use it. If you have questions, ask an employment lawyer about it. Another way is banked time that you have at work, right? Maybe you have some sick time or some PTO, whether that be vacation time or personal time uh, that you have available to you. You can use that contemporaneously with your FMLA leave. And that could provide you with some compensation while uh, you are out recovering from your own health condition or taking care of a family member that um, uh, is sick and needs your attention during that time. The third way, and this only relates to whether it's your serious health condition that's keeping you out of work, is maybe you have a short-term disability policy that's available to you. And if you do, you might be able to apply for benefits under that policy and get paid. Now, it's not 100% of your wages, but hey, when you're out of work and you're recovering from some type of health issue, anything is better than nothing. You want to talk to your employer about whether there's a short-term disability policy available to you, apply for those benefits, start receiving that compensation, and that may be a way to bridge the gap while you're getting yourself back and, and, and ready to go back to work. So there are options. Um, best way is ask your employer. Your employer might be able to provide you with this information. If, if you're not getting the information that you need from your employer, call an employment lawyer and, and let us guide you in the right direction to help you through this troubling time. Great information. Thanks so much, Amanda. And thanks you all for watching. Take care.